drug dealer who attempted to intimidate a witness with an explosive device and assaulted a fellow inmate was only sentenced to eight years. A drug dealer who tried to use an explosive device to stop a witness from testifying about his criminal activities was sentenced to only 100 months in prison. That, that's not enough. Um, he actually uh, got caught three separate individual times um, in possession of actual heroin and methamphetamine with the intention to actually distribute. So he was a, he was actually a dealer, you know, and he needed to uh, he needed to uh, to place a bomb and actually activate it in front of a potential witness his house, and he only got this much time. And you know, because just for the fact that that bomb had no names on it, kids could have been. In her grandparents, parents, anybody could have actually been the victim of that actual explosion or shrapnel. And uh, he got this actual amount of time, you know, and he into it. And he also admitted that he uh, assaulted a uh, fellow inmate at a federal facility, causing serious, serious facial and head injury. That right there should have just got an automatic, you know, some extra time for that, you know, and. Um, you know, he he actually attempted to intimidate a, a potential witness. You know, how is that not an actual, uh, more actual, uh, penalized actual crime? You know, and and in, on and on his actual last actual um, apprehension with his actual uh, on a drug charge, um, he was found to have various narcotic pills and an improvised explosive device. So that means that he actually had a pipe bomb of a sort in his actual vehicle. And he's lucky that it didn't go off, you know what I mean? A lot of these times, these guys go into the hospital because they actually accidentally detonate these actual, you know, improvised explosives, you know? So that's a little bit of time, you know? And then um, out of Alabama, Birmingham, uh, uh, male, in his 30s, late 30s, he thought it'd be a good idea to actually um, kidnap a victim. So he actually initiated the actual plan. He broke into this victim's home, kidnapped him, took him back to his house, forced him to actually transfer $250,000 from his bank account to one of his accounts. Not his, but a, a, a separate account. After that was done, he actually took the victim back home and dropped them off. Of course, the victim made a phone call, you know, and that wasn't that was not very well planned out, you know. And uh, the Secret Service and the FBI got involved, and they ended up, um, you know, tracking this individual back, you know, back to his actual home, and uh, then arrested him, you know, and he got 17 years. 17 years for the actual um, kidnapping plot and ransom, you know, but 250 is not a lot. You can't really do a lot. I mean, it's a lot of money, but to, for the actual plan that he had, it's, it's not enough. It's going to be expensive to, you know, to hide out and to create a new life, a new identity somewhere other than the United States. You can't stay here. You know, they'll track you down and it, we have so many digital fingerprints now that it, it won't be hard. You know what I mean, the only way you can actually hide out is in a small country far, far away, you know? Okay, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe.